Santa's special. during the holiday. So, today boys and girls, for our drink course, we're going to prepare a holiday treat, which is eggnog. And to do that, I have this chicken, which I've been feeding the finest eggs. And since eggs is related to birth and milk is like related to that, then it has these odors. <laughs> which is where the eggnog comes from. So I'm just gonna go and put it over this punch bowl and squeeze the milk out of its udders. looks great, but it's still a little bit boring. What can I do? Hmm, good thing my house is made of chocolate. So, to make it better, I think, I'm gonna scoop some chocolate, hmm, from my house. <laughs> chocolate eggnog float and I'll stir it up to our guest friend right here grandpa the cat would you like some eggnog kitty mm. Mm. okay it's very good Again, I just wanted to tell you guys about one of my favorite holiday activities, which is baking. Luckily, it also has to do with food, because people bake food sometimes. So right now, I am rolling out this gingerbread dough that I have made the night before. I used flour, eggs, molasses, sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg. It was great. So now I have a dough that looks like this. And I'm going to roll out this dough into a thin and even sheet. But today, I'm going to make something that I always wanted, which is... <laughs> Who is that? Hey, dude! How's it going, man? 
Hey, snowman. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making gingerbread. Gingerbread? Sweet. Mm -hmm. I love gingerbread. Say, are you going to make anything cool with it? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was just getting into that. Today, I'm going to make a gingerbread Mercedes. Cool. That's kind of unorthodox for gingerbread, wouldn't you say? Uh-huh. So, uh, what do you have to do to do it? Oh, yeah. To do that, you need to cut out like a pattern. This is like a Mercedes shape. Yeah. And these are like pieces that would go like this, you know, like so it's like big and small rectangle. Okay. And then you just cut it out on your cookie sheet like this. You just lay it on there like this. And then you just like cut it like this. Oh, oh, and yeah. then wow. if you just do that for a while, eventually uh -huh. you'll get like a perfect car shape Whoa. that looks just like this. That's crazy, man. Wow! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> so now I'm just going to put my cut pieces onto the cookie sheet, uh -huh. the baking sheet like this. Yeah. And make sure you get a sheet that's big enough to fit all your pieces so that you can bake them all at the same time. And then you want to bake it at 350 for about 8 to 10 minutes or so. Wow, that's not long, a, huh? Not long at all, because this is a very thin cookie. Because this cookie is about maybe like an eighth of an inch thick. So make sure that's very important. So then you have it spread out evenly on your cookie sheet a little bit better than I have here. And now we're going to put the ginger dough into the oven. There you go. Cool. And you're going to wait about 10 minutes. 10 minutes goes by and out comes... Out comes the finished cookies. They'll look like this. They're nice and hard. And then, what's nice about my oven is that like it also decorates for me too. So I'm going to sprinkle it with some of these gems like this. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And then I'm also going to ice it like this. Like, oh, okay. And then put it in my oven and set it to decorate. Decorate. And then maybe wait about maybe five seconds. One, two, three. Four, five. And then out comes, whoa, finished Mercedes Benz out of gingerbread. And then here's the showroom shot of it rolling around. Notice the detailing. And look at this beautiful car. And what kind of house does this car drive up to? That's right, it's a gingerbread. Frank Geary building. Whoa, that is cool, too. Thanks. Wow. Doesn't all this holiday stuff make you happy? What is happiness, too? <sighs> you know, life is so fleeting. It's all just going to melt away tomorrow. I mean, my happiness, it's just a thin veneer covering over a deep, deep well of sorrow and disillusionment. <laughs>